Mr. Speaker, thank you. Uh, members of the House, it's a wonderful occasion that we have the opportunity to celebrate 100 years of a, uh, such a wonderful organization that has provided 100 years of dedicated service to our nation. As the resolution stated, April 23, 1908, the United States Congress created the Medical Reserve Corps to have medical officers in times of national disasters. They started with a mere 360 doctors. Now we are over one million strong. And of course, it was created by a great Virginian with the citizen soldier concept by General George Washington. Over those 100 years, more than 160,000 Army Reserve soldiers served on active duty during World War I, more than 200,000 in World War II, and of course they are serving on the front lines today in Afghanistan and Iraq. They are the bravest of our citizens. They represent the best of our nation's hopes, ideals, principles, and values. Proud to stand with the uh, gentleman from Chesterfield, Delegate Nixon, in celebration of this anniversary. Uh, today we are very proud to have with us uh, Deputy Commanding General of the 80th Division, Brigadier General Robert Stahl, his aide Brian Rawls, along with U.S. Army Reserve Ambassador Emeritus Dick Collier, and U.S. Army Reserve Ambassador Michael Fallon Kavanaugh. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like the House of Delegates to recognize their service on this uh, celebratory occasion uh, recognizing their 100 years of proud, dedicated service to the United States of America.